If we know and agree about several shortcomings of our buildings, what can we do about it? Don't we need to think and revise the way we design and use our buildings? That sparks my motivation to enhance the quality of buildings in order to provide comfort, health and well-being in our buildings. I'm an architect by training and as a researcher and designer, I have always been passionate about the interaction between built environment, climate and the ultimate impact on people. I was always interested to look at the impacts of our design on people. So simply how we can design buildings in order to improve wellness and comfort for people. What I've learned from my PhD is that school kids are not just little adults. They prefer two to three degrees cooler thermal environment. Poor indoor air quality significantly affects students' performance, cognitive ability, concentration loss, respiratory problems, lung function issues, headaches, eye irritation, and many more heat-related issues. So our aim is to try to improve health and at the same time improve productivity in the classroom. And it is as important as improving teaching material in the classroom. So with the benefits of science and technology, we can increase performance of students by 20% in the classroom. This significantly helps students' performance and health. At the same time, it decreases energy consumption of the school by 50%.